Welcome to the live streaming of the Holy Mass from the Redemptus Media Center. Let us pray for the following intentions during this sacred celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear friends, today is the memoria of uh, Saint Catherine of Alexandria, the Virgin and Martyr. <clears throat> As we seek her intercession, we also ask the Lord to give us the same courage when the difficulties and struggle come on our way to hold on to our faith and to stand for gospel values. For our failures, we ask the pardon and trusting the merits of the Lord, we partake in this Eucharist. I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts, thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my, fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, your Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever living God, who gave St. Catherine of Alexandria to your people as a virgin and an invincible martyr, grant that through her intercession we may be strengthened in faith and constancy and spend ourselves without reserve for the unity of the Church. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The dead were judged according to what they had done. I saw the new Jerusalem coming down out of heaven. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw an angel coming down from heaven, holding in his hand the key to the bottomless pit and a great chain. And he sees the dragon, that ancient serpent, who is the devil and Satan, and bound him for a thousand years, and threw him into the pit, and shut it and sealed it over him, so that he might not deceive the nations any longer, until the thousand years were ended. 
After that, he must be released for a little while. Then I saw thrones and seated on them were those to whom the authority to judge was committed. Also I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded for the testimony of Jesus and for the word of God, and those who had not worshipped the beast or its image and had not received its mark on their foreheads or their hands. They came to life and reigned with Christ for a thousand years. Then I saw a great white throne and him who was seated on it. From his presence earth and sky fled away, and no place was found for them. And I saw the dead, great and small, standing before the throne. The books were opened, then another book was opened which is the book of life. And the dead were judged by what was written in the books, according to what they had done. And the sea gave up the dead who were in it. Death and Hades gave up the dead who were in them. And they were judged, each one of them, according to what they had done. Then death and Hades were thrown into the lake of fire, this is the second death, the lake of fire. If anyone's name was not found written in the book of life, he was thrown into the lake of fire. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for a husband. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Response shall be. Behold, the dwelling of God is with men. Behold, the dwelling of God is with men. My soul is longing and yearning for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out to the living God. Behold, the dwelling of God is with men. Even the sparrow finds a home, and the swallow a nest for herself, in which she sets her young at your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Behold, the dwelling of God is with men. Blessed are they who dwell in your house, forever singing your praise. Blessed the people whose strength is in you, they walk with ever-growing strength. Behold, the dwelling of God is with men. Kindly rise for the Gospel. Straighten up and raise your heads, because your redemption is drawing near. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus told his disciples a parable. Look at the fig tree and all the trees. As soon as they come out in leaf, you see for yourselves and know that summer is already near. So also when you see these things taking place, you know that the kingdom of God is near. Truly, I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all has taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. The Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to your Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, 
like any other parable this parable also is confusing they have heard a story of a man who gathered people around him and he said he is a man of prayer and he knew exactly the day when the earth and heaven will pass away and he told the people to sell their property because there is no use of keeping them the world is coming to an end and some of them sold and they go through financial difficulties later whenever we hear the parable we need to be alert because the following part that jesus is speaking is about the eternal realities but using the human language the things of the earth and we need not to go through whatever is presented here but we need to understand the meaning of the realities that jesus is talking about the earth and heaven will pass away this is not the permanent place for us whether we like it or not one day we move away from this world and enter into eternal realities and these days we are reflecting in these eternal realities because we have come to the end of the ordinary weeks in the liturgical year and then we will be entering into advent so as we reflect we need to be aware that we are pilgrim in this earth and our eternal home is with god our father so make this a better place to live for us and for others so that we may become the true children of our heavenly father so it is an awareness not to hold on to the things of this earth but use them well for the good of others so that we may give glory to god for that grace we pray in the eucharist Pray, dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the Virgin Blessed, we humbly implore your Majesty that as her merits are pleasing to you, 
so to our dutiful service may find favor in your sight. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give order to their faith, to their endurance you grant firm resolve, and in their struggle the victory is yours, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Therefore all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song of adoration, and we with all the host of angels cry out, and without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy the same spirit by sending your down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Peter our Bishop, and all the clergy, religious, laity. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen.
At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other sign of Christ's peace. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring us to judgment and condemnation, but if you have your mercy before us, protection in mind and body and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to possess you within my soul. Since I am unable now to receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as being already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Prayer, Prayer for, for the, the end, end of the, of the pandemic. pandemic. Almighty, Almighty and merciful Father, who show your love to all your creation, we come before you asking for the end of the pandemic currently ravaging our world. Grant healing to the sick, eternal life to the dead, and consolation to the bereaved families. Protect doctors, nurses, and others serving the sick. We pray for all governments and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make our prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord and Redeemer. Amen.
Let us pray. Renewed by partaking of this divine gift, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the example of the blessed gathering of Alexandria, bearing in our body the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Dear friends, a kind reminder that the second part of the conversation on Heart Rock Cafe on the topic of why should we go to church when there is online mass, a very important topic, will go live this evening at 5.30 p.m. If you have missed the first part, do catch up with it before you watch the second one. It is a continuation of, of the first part. And this time, it will be the same along with Father Juwi and Rishika. I join in to bear on this important topic, trying to understand the role of media in our faith formation and the understanding of sacraments as we come almost to the close of the pandemic. I'll see you in the evening also for the Holy Rosary at 7.30, 7, 7 p.m. Have a wonderful day. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Send forth by God's blessing, our true faith confessing, the people of God from His dwelling take ye. God sacrifice and it will now be extended, the fruits of the mass in Chris.